What can I start? Holy shit. So it's been how long? Four weeks? It's been a long time. <laughs> Four or five at weeks? Least. At, at least. least. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Uh, we need a campaign recap <laughs> instead, of, instead of a previous session recap. Because you guys forgot what the fuck you were doing. No, we were in uh, an academy about to go to school. Yeah, we were going to school. Yeah, we were going to school. Right, but why? Uh, to find a Canadian. No, because there was information in so or about the swarm that we could possibly use there, and maybe possibly a professor. Find a Canadian. Maybe. That's about it, yeah. You guys have landed on the planet of Ilum Chuva after receiving direct orders from Commander Najiri to find information from one Professor Galchak at Zesh University in the city of Oods. Yeah, Zinch University. Zesh. Zinch. No, it's That's Zesh. No, shut your mouth. Hush. Zinch. I had Zinch. to look it up, and I am correct. <laughs> yeah, Zinch. <laughs> so, landing on Ilum Chuva, you were able to survive your initial encounter with the swarm on this destroyed planet, this husk world, <laughs> um, and help out a group of people called Clade Company uh, by taking out a group. What the fuck? Jazzy? Just doing some weird shit. She's good now. Uh, by taking out one of the extractor Amago's large tick-like swarm component that seems to be destroying the planet from the inside out. Um, so, in a yours, uh, I scratch your back, you scratch mine kind of situation, they help you get into the city of Oots, set up a forward base, and show you the way to the university, where you step in and are met with more swarm. Moving down the hallway in the main building, you find yourself stepping into a lecture hall where you're assaulted by ear-piercing screams by these swarm components known as revulsors. Ew. I believe we were able to get one round of combat in because you guys were in the dark. That's where we ended so many, so many moons ago lost time and suddenly we're here yes been staring into their eyes for the past five weeks i just hit the uh the unpause Free screen huh. actually we got two rounds in because i marked it as round three <laughs> so is everyone ready yeah because we're hopping right back into combat fuck <laughs> so mo this swarm revulsor that you've kind of walked up on isn't taking too kindly to your invasion of its personal space. Uh huh. So what it's going to do? It's turn around and present ass. Is turn around and present fist. Damn it! <laughs> What'd you say, Daniel? Present Chloe. It was about fifty-fifty there for you. Ain't that right, Jacob? We love Chloe, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> so it's going to swipe at you with a 27. Oh, I love seeing these big numbers again. No. And that is a hit. No, it's not. No, yes, it's it is. It tells me. Ooh. Ow. And it swipes for max damage. Ow. 13 as these barbed claws rake right through your armor. Ow. Ugh. And then we're going to move on. Do it or I can't do? help but notice the camera's not on. Um, so a guarded step in this game is an action, isn't it? it is a move action. Fuck. Okay. I I will take a guarded step back towards the door. Um, and I will fire a blast with my uh my Corona laser pistol. Blam. You got it. Well, let's see if you do got it. 14 EAC? 
That is a miss. Damn. Damn, indeed. <laughs> I was targeting Duodar. Oops. <laughs> Still, unfortunately, a miss. Um, you, not going to be your turn, huh? Yeah, I believe so. So as you move back, uh, firing off your laser pistol, it kind of lights up the room for a brief second, and you can see this revulsor through the uh, light of your flashlight uh, leap over Oops. Leap over the kind of back wall or back half wall of these seats and land uh, right in the doorway next to Mo, ah. or next to um, Duladar and Kithix. Uh, it's going to try and claw at you, Kithix. Does a twenty a hit? hit. Yeah. It is a hit. <laughs> for 11 damage. Oh, it's so nice to come back to, to Fantasy Grounds with the combat tracker. Yeah. Like that. You don't like that it automatically takes care of our stuff? No, that's great. <laughs> I don't like being hit for 11. No one does. It, it's terrible, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Quite. I like that it don't... tracks it, but... <laughs> you, oh, you'd like the numbers to be smaller, huh? I like yes. the numbers to be smaller. I like my thumbs being hit. It just it just drop one of the ones. I would like things to be bigger. Bigger? Oh no! No! Cow, cow size queen out there. <laughs> All right, Duladar, your face to to chitin with this screaming mass. <clears throat> What's the plan? We can't hear you. I think you're muted. Your mic is messed up in Discord. You were chewing. Still nothing. Nothing. I'm sure it would have been great, though, the very sound. Probably. It was a zinger <clears throat> in there, for sure. He's just moving his fucking lips. He's fucking with us. It's really on, but he's just moving his lips. Oh, we're having tech <laughs> problems. Oh, no. What? Oh. Yeah, turn it off and come back. Michael? Let's see if that worked. Work? Oh. Still. We can't hear you. Check your audio or uh, settings in Discord. Yeah, do that. You might have switched your, your things. It does that at random. Things get plugged and unplugged and. Keeps you on your toes. Keeps me in my butt. What? I'm what? sure whatever Duladar is going to do, it's going to be cowardly. What, what? In the butt? No. Stop bringing that back. I said what, what? In the butt. Dude, it never stopped. It's been going on for forever. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a it's, question of wow. So, I mean, it's it's official. It's real. It exists. Hey, Kristen. I missed you. Well, this is fun. This was a great session, everyone. <laughs> oh. It's just dead air. Ah! That's not what I meant to how do you guys uh how do you guys feel coming back to Starfinder after after so long? It's definitely strange. Yeah. It's I was a little afraid because it's been I haven't really had time to touch up on it, but it's like putting on an old pair of shoes. Still pretty comfortable. Oh my gosh, this is the suspense is killing me. His microphone really doesn't want to work. Dang. Did you un Jacob, tell us a joke? Be funny, funny man. Yeah. Just look at my face and you'll laugh. No. The point and laugh at the Jew. <laughs> 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 the high on you told me to <laughs> oy vey bar mitzvah <laughs> you 
can't Google a joke, Jacob. It's got to be from the heart. You want a joke? I'm playing Doom Eternal. My life. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very funny. So I, while, while we're waiting, uh, I, I, Kristen, Kristen, whichever one it is. Kristen. Yeah, I'm sorry. Kristen. Hi. How's it going? Hello. Is my, uh, is my, uh, Discord? Okay, it's still, it's working. Yeah. I, I never really get to say hi to chat. Hey. Hi, chat. Oh, is it oh, well, Michael? I'm on my phone now. Woo! Huh. Hello? That must have been the issue. Hello? 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 Sacrificed video for audio. Look at those pretty, me? uh, those yes. pretty emotes. Hello? I'm so Hello? jealous. Hey. Can you hear me? You I still <laughs> <Get at him. laughs> I still want to figure out some that I could get. I'm your new neighbor. Hello, neighbor. Give me a tour of the house now. Now. You're... Now you're you're muted again, Michael. Show me what's in your closet. This is becoming hilariously uh, awkward. Problematic. No, I'm keeping the conversation well and alive, right? Mm -hmm. You're doing different. Really? I like your shirt, Tom. Yeah, I wore the Space Kittens today because we're in Starfinder, so you're in nice. Space Captain Space. There's bears in space in this game. If anything ever happens to Vakash on the, on the map. Oh, no, it's farted. Oh, there you go. Michael's back. There you go. Welcome back. Uh, now, please. Uh, this this as, a move, as a move action, I'm going to point at this uh, revolver right here and shout, Get him! Get him. What Get does that him! do? It's a plus one morale bonus to attack rolls against him for all my teammates. Ah! Remember okay. that, everyone. Oh, man. It's revolver number one. On the left. Perfect. And then I'm going to blast him. Blast! So anyway, I started blasting. Let's see it happen. Let me make sure the targeting and all that's done right, or else it'll break. <laughs> Target repulsor. Wait, did I untarget it? You did. Yeah, you know, I was already targeted. Okay. And Let's whammy. Oh, it was on that 20 for so long, but that is yeah. a hit. 17 is a hit. Roll me big damage. Oh, that is big damage. That is big damage. Oh, 11. Mm. 11 fucking damage. Holy shit. You blast a chunk of chitin right off with your uh, your loop rifle. <laughs> I call it a Oof. loop rifle. I have it. Infinity rifle. My apologies. Uh, Such adorable emotes. Sack, uh, that it has on it. Start to warble a little you bit. ever gonna dye your hair green to match that one emote? Um, or are you gonna go back purple, maybe? Well, I'm gonna look over at Mo and yell, "Good luck!" <laughs> and take a shot at number one. Uh... Oh, perfect! All right, we are targeting. Let's see if you can deliver a kill Wait, shot. Does that okay? That that actually pulled up. Where did that go? Uh, if you're not rolling in the chat window, it's not going to pick up. Oh my god, it was a 19. 17 hit, though. Uh, yeah. 17 is a myth on kinetic. Oh. Oh, wait. Hold on. 17, 18 with the plus one. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a hit. Well, it was, a, it was the 19 before, but I'm glad it still hit. I would have been yes. really upset if I... And that was just because my combat tracker was over the other window. And it rolled yeah, that. it can be found. But that's a hit. Oh. Go ahead and roll me that kid killer damage. Not the best damage, but still pretty decent. Solid shit. Uh, is it focusing on no, regaining no. its composure? What's up? Is my mic picking up wind? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's what I'm it is? Okay. No, I think that one's... I think that's Mike breathing. Mike, get the get the mic away from Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I so can is do this a better phone. 
staggers back from uh, Duladar's laser shot and <laughs> stumbles right into the way of this Ken Killer bullet. Pierces right through it, putting this revolver into critical condition. Oh. So Mo is the cash turns and says good luck <laughs> and abandons your side of the fight. You're left to your own devices. What do you do? Ah, uh, so anyway, I started swinging. <laughs> so I already got my solar weapon out if I, since we already was in combat, so I'm going to try doing a full attack. Okay. Hachubi. Ooh. Wow. So a 13. And you weren't targeting, so that's fine. I, I did target. What wrong. the fuck? God so damn it. 13 is a miss, but the 24 is a hit. Okay. So let's see that big damage. Double fours. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, wait a minute. Is your stuff 2d6? Now, yeah. Oh, because you're level 6, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, wait a minute. Why does that say partially resisted? Hold on. Shut your mouth. Don't read that. No. You're cheating. I'm not cheating at anything. But no. <laughs> I am a little curious, though. I don't remember reading that. Hmm. But that's 17 damage. Holy shit. I forgot how scary you are. Just imagine if I that hit all of them. Numbers. I like big things. You wanted big numbers, DM, so you got them. Uh, no, my big numbers. Mine. Hey. Monkey's paw. Oh. <laughs> you got real big. I didn't know I could actually do that. Did you guys see that? Yeah, that was pretty cool. No. This, the, I increased the size of the revolver. It must have been the other one, because I, I don't see it. Huh. Strange. Because remember, I can only see the one in front of me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That explains it all. Never right, mind. your lights your lights only go so far. Because my yeah. night vision doesn't work through doorways for some reason. It was rather impressive over here. That is weird that your, your vision's not working super great. Hmm. But that sh that's a big hit, Mo. Good fucking job. Yeah. 17 damage knocks the uh, the air right out of this thing's throat sack. Ugh. And it's not very happy <laughs> with you. Um, <laughs> as it's going to turn again uh, and try to uppercut you. Okay. Uh, with a 24. Ah! Okay. Oh. This could get really ugly. <laughs> Kristen, I'm getting beat up on here. Seven damage. No! Which is going to knock you into actual HP damage. It's, stop beating me. It It's little mandibles just start clicking. <laughs> okay, I'm going for those next. The mandibles? Yes. Ouch. <clears throat> Speaking of mandibles, Kiffix. <laughs> That's a noise. Yeah. I will take a guarded step and fire at it again. Since it will still go so close to death. Wow. Yeah, let's go it. Oh, 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 look at that. The dice 19. didn't even roll. It just dropped where I, where I put it. So 18 against KAC? 19. 19, correct. That 19, is right. <laughs> Wham. Pew, pew. Targeted. You gotta target it. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> kill it. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I don't know why my target didn't Do you need me to roll again after I target it? or No, it's fine. I can just calculate the damage. Okay. Cacumulate. I gotta, I gotta get out my calculator, though, because I'm not good with big numbers. Yeah, calculate the damage. Please kill it. If it's less than eight, you just kill it. And if it's not, then fuck me. So as you take a step back, you kind of stumble over one of those chalky cubes in the aisle. And it uh, moves your your aim up. Your Corona laser blast goes uh, right through this thing, throat sack, and out the back. Okay. Okay. 
deadening it. Cool. So <laughs> so far, I've gotten every kill in Zinch University. So have you? Is that every? Yeah. Kill? Yeah. Hold on, there were. Remember, I massacred. I, yeah, I massacred at the beginning. Remember? Holy Last shit! Last session was a great session for me. You, you guys got to stop Kithix. He's becoming a monster. I can't. I'm not helping machine. him. Kill him in Jaro. Uh, uh. <laughs> Kill Tacular. So, Duladar, there's a, a laser blast in the room, and this revulsor kind of just crumples to the ground. Kill Tastrophe. I'm, I'm going to move over it. Okay. Kill Tacular. Really crawl over the body into the room. There it is. There's the revulsor. There it is. I see it. I'm gonna take aim with my blaster. Pew pew. All right, a good thirty feet away. Krakatoa. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's a hit. I love how that we are lo rolling low, but we're still hitting now. I love this feeling. Okay, where'd that die go? Uh, uh, oh no, it went through. It we're good. Okay. Yep. I was scared. 11 damage. All the max damage. Very nice. So this thing's got Wham. its back turned to you, and you blast it straight in the back, and you can you can start to smell sizzling chitin. That makes me hungry. <laughs> Gross. Is that your larval mouth? You don't have that anymore, no, right? That's my mouth. I lost the larval mouth, so I guess I must mimic it. Ew. Do I, am I able to uh, reload and run fire? Uh, as my reloading is a, action. Yeah, as reloading is a move. move action. Yeah, and yeah, I'm not going to fire. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's what I thought. All right, cool. Excellent. Let's get rid of those. Yes, yes, you are. And here we are. Positively. 100%. No doubt. Outside. Indubitably. Always. Yeah, let's see. What, let's put the insides of Revulsor Two on its outsides. Let's see, can the dice back oh, up that okay. big talk? No, they're gonna miss the area they need to roll in. Oh, what do we got? <laughs> oh, twenty. All right, that's a hit. <laughs> big damage. Big damage. Big damage. Holy Way shit. Uh, that is a lot of damage. Why? I forget. This thing is flat-footed, but I can't quite remember why. Did you trick attack this thing at one point, Vikesh? I think I did, yeah. Probably. Okay. I think that's how we started combat hours, with me trick attacking something. Gotcha. Because there was a cool catchphrase that happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was. I, I wrote it down somewhere, but I don't remember you where wrote I put it. Down? it. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's around here with my Morden's fish sticks notes and all that other shit. Where where did I put it? I'll have to find it. But that rifle bullet is uh, going to tear right through this thing, splattering the, the seat behind it with chunks of viscera and chitin. However, it's still barely standing. I'm gonna try to kill it before I do. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna tell it. I'm gonna tell it that it's time to reload as I see that it's leaking out all over the place. And I'm going to uh, look him dead in the eye and like, don't you click those mandibles at me? And then another full attack action. Miss. Oh, yeah. oh, that's that's two hits. That's two fucking hits. Oh, you ruined my kill streak. You are, we at, are, are we looking at 4d6 damage? There's the first one. 4d6 plus 18? Holy shit, 26 damage. What the fuck? It's still alive, right? I wanted to aim for his man or his face. Alive, Specifically right? his face. Super alive. It was doing the stanky leg before the first hit was done. <laughs> I, I, if it's not dead, I'll heal it and <laughs> kill it. <laughs> I need the killing blow, dude. Oh, you gotta get your grip points back? 
That's right. I need my honor points. You have no honor. Fuck you. You put this thing at negative 24, Kyle. <laughs> Smash! Fucking off. Like we're wearing it at this point, damn. So you aim for its face. Uh huh. In, in a flurry of attacks, that its face is no longer there. <laughs> it's a pile of chittering, twitching mush. Ah. I believe I could take up a new career as of an exterminator after this. <laughs> and you've you've ruined uh, Kithix's day. You ruined my kill streak, dude. I was going for the tactical nuke. <laughs> there will be more, Mr. There will be more, Mr. Kithix. There will be more. And by the way, I'm in pain. Slight pain, not grievous pain, but. I am in pain. So combat is now over. And allow me to reintroduce you to the room that you're Aha. in. So again, this is one of the lecture halls in this building. See, I told you so, Kristen. Inside, you can sort of make out two sloped walkways that lead down uh, to the south. Um, there are stepped tiers holding rows of student desks in different sizes and configurations, uh, seemingly to fit a variety of different students. Um, but both of these walkways are obstructed by strangely colored, almost chalky cubes in the aisle. Um, would anyone like to make me a life science check yes oh i was i was actually gonna ask if i could check that you may oh, 19 27 what else we got all right i'm playing so that goes to 10. oh Damn it. 27. Hey. wait two 27s you guys gotta fucking stop now I don't like to see you make me stop. You okay. bastard. I'll do it. No. Just you fucking watch. Okay, so Kithix and Vikesh. Uh, getting a, a good look at some of these uh, chalky blocks in, in the light of your flashlights. Um, you can make these out to be Masticated swarm components. Masticated? As in chewed yeah. on? As in chewed up. And then formed into these cubes. Uh, yeah, because don't they like bioengineer everything or whatever? So they would like chew on everything too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, can, you can gather that these cubes are old swarm components that have been repurposed and are awaiting uh, some right. kind of use. Raw material, as it were. Pinky. Gross. Bugs are nasty. Bugs are nasty. Okay, thanks. Do you do this too? That's racist. Shut up. They're probably going to come in here and chew up the bodies of the guys we just killed and put them in the components, too. Break down all biomatter. Isn't that what they do? Well, let's... Uh, not if we destroy it. What is the plan, Midnight Squad? Move down to the south. To the south, through the lecture hall, huh? Yes. Oh, I crunch my way down. Crunch. All right, climbing over some seats and then uh, kind of trudging through bodies. Um, you each 
slowly make your way through the lecture hall. Ooh! Well, there's obviously a lot more to the swarm than what is just here on this planet, right? No, there's something. No, this, is, this is just a, a bit of it, yeah. Are you asking me? Or... Yeah, I'm just asking oh. in general. Oh, like yes. Yeah, okay. The swarm is much like, larger than this planet. Yeah, I figured it would be. Like, I figured this is just a, a small portion of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've all but taken the planet over already, so this is just some straggler st staying around to do the dirty work while the uh, rest of the guys keep going. So, has, has, it, has there ever been like a uh, like an exterminatus that where like the whole the swarms on a planet and then like the planetary defenses that just self destruct with them all on it? Could that be a thing? That's a possibility. That's a possibility. If there was a plant that was willing to be sacrificed in line of what was coming up, could we could we plan ahead to where the swarm is going and uh, blow it the fuck um, up? Blow it the fuck up. Drop some tungsten rods from space or something. Yeah, I mean, that would do some damage. Up. I think exterminatus is the answer. Yeah. I'd probably do some damage, but I doubt it'd kill all the. Crack the core, destroy the planet. I mean, it wouldn't, just, it wouldn't kill them on impact, but. And there'd be some stragglers that would probably get off planet because they can leave like that, but. Crack the core of a planet, it's gonna. You know, I'm just saying the swarm has way more components than what it would take to take over a planet, so they're not gonna send all their forces. Yeah. yeah. Not it's only like that, but. You each know by now that the swarm is a hive mind, but there are like sub hives out there somewhere. But moving your way through this lecture hall, you find more swarm bodies waiting to be uh, reshaped, repurposed, um, more of those cubes. And down at the very bottom, uh, of the sloped lecture hall is a, a long desk sitting in front of a uh, sort of holographic whiteboard that's inactive. Uh, is there anything on the desk? Right, there is a uh, cracked data pad um, where if you attempt to sort of mess with it, it is, it's clearly dead. Um, and there are some scattered uh, pieces of paper that uh, have not aged very well. The elements have certainly done their number. Uh, you can gather it looks like uh, professor's notes and some written assignments. With the data pad, even though it's cracked, we could probably recover some of the data off of it. I don't see why that. Why not? might be worth something or give you some uh, study material on the ride back that it could in any case I'm gonna assume there's not much else here mm -hmm. I guess we can start moving on okay unless anyone feels like they need a break uh <clears throat> I could definitely use a rest I would like to use a resolve or one of my resolve points, yeah. Okay. So the party's good for taking a ten minute rest. Yep. Yeah. I guess okay. while well, we got this time, you know, if we want to try to charge the data pad, see if it turns on. Okay. Yeah. So uh not everyone is as damaged as everyone else, so if you don't want to spend a resolve point, you don't have to. Uh during this ten minute rest. Um, but some of you have batteries, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, charging up the data pad is as simple as really hooking up, uh, wiring a battery into it. Uh, 
Oh, this is nowhere near as complicated as I thought. I was about to roll computer skills. Well, it turns on, and but I, it is locked. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you're locked. met with okay. Yeah, you're met with a um, sort of a lock screen with the Zest University uh, logo before it asks for a passcode. Uh, uh, does it have any certain number of digits or is it a numerical one or what are we looking at? Uh, you're looking at um, a keyboard. Right, you're on. looking at a, a keyboard that's on the data path that displays several different uh, insectile languages. Um, We're looking at Belidin, Shirin, uh, Han, Troxian. If I if I hold the data pad at an angle, can I see any smudges of where in the previous pass there might be some skin greases? Am I digging too deep into, into how I would actually crack and what a password is on on a phone or a data pad? I would look I would look for fingerprints is what I'm saying. Uh, but could, no, you could roll computers though. I could roll computers. That's what I would. That's what I would be doing as I'm rolling computers is doing that kind of thing. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful score. <laughs> They're looking for little uh, smudges and uh, indications of where. Parts. Indications of where things would be pressed, which would be, um, I like a little deal and unlock. Thank you. Right. Um, you're I'm able to like unlock it. this tablet, and uh, clearly, this is a faculty member uh, tablet. Um, you can see that it's been issued to one Professor uh, Mla Kahal. It's M L A A. K A H A L, alcohol. I'm about to pronounce his the guy we love for years. I can't remember. Professor Alcohol. No. My alcohol. No, it's not Professor Alcohol. Blockhol. Wrong. My alcohol. You gotta put that ma in front of it. <laughs> Blockhol. Oh, were you taking a 10 minute rest as well? Go ahead and uh, on your character sheet, use a resolve point, and you can reset your stamina. Okay, it's kind of lounge in some of these oh, open, yeah. um, open lecture seats as you uh, peek through this data pad. Um, so you know that this belongs to one uh, Lankahal. Um, and a lot of the, the work that is on it relates to um, the formation of hive minds and uh, devices uh, called mind shields. Ooh. But other than that, uh, <laughs> there's not too much you can really glean from it. Mind shields? That prevents mind thrusting. Maybe. No. Oh. It ain't go away. Well, I guess we've got everything we need from in here. Move on. Yep, see you guys back in the hallway. I'm gonna no fire across the desks. Uh, it takes you significantly longer to crawl across the desks as your multiple legs get caught up in the folding chairs and different uh, shaped desks. <laughs> Gotta bounce uh, from desk to desk. You got, you, Kethix, you gotta move, buddy. Come on, Kethix. There we go. I'm coming, I'm coming. He's doing it. He's doing it. <laughs> I reset you. So you have your personal comm units on, which mm -hmm. have flashlights that illuminate in a 15, uh, 15 feet kind of radius around you. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. 
so heading back out into the hallway, you're met with that familiar puddle of uh, Ilum Chuba acid rain again. Oh, yay. Um, oh, yay. As well as the rest of the hallway. Uh, rain, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> that reminds me of Spaceballs. Ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. ding. Mo, as you and Vikesh step out into the hallway, you can tell that the hall does sort of turn to your right, uh, just a few feet in front of you. So I would like to... Uh, bye, Jacob. Bye, Jacob. Jacob. Step there and see if I can peer around the corner a little bit. Okay. You need any kind of. I mean, you can only see as far as you can see. Right. Can I listen? Uh, yes, you can. You make, like... me a, make me a perception check. Hachubi. You listening. Yeah. 21. 21. Okay. So as you're uh, sort of listening down this hallway, uh, you can hear dripping. Uh, but. You can tell that it's coming from that puddle uh, in front of you. Um, something's dripping in from the ceiling uh, into that puddle. It's uh, sort of methodical. Um, but other than that, the hallway sounds quiet. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, you too. Coming out of the room. It's about time, Duladar. I was letting them check it out first. Coward. Strategic. Mm. Hey, there's a door not far from us. How can you tell? All right, you've got dark. Because I've got I've got dark vision. Right, Duladar, you can actually see two sets of doors. No, I see two doors. Right. One directly down the hallway, uh, and then down the hallway to the right. Are both sets of doors shut? Yes. Yes, they, they are. are. All right, squad, stack up on these doors. I'm going to run over to the door, rifle drawn. Small blue blur uh, runs through your, your flashlights. Crazy question, but out of combat, can I boost my rifle? Hmm, a preemptive boost, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't see why not. <laughs> Feel like I'm being generous. I thought you're gonna regret it. <laughs> Maybe. I'll just revoke it. The rifle not boosting no more. Boost broke. <laughs> It, it's only it only activates when you're in combat for some reason. Oh, it's so strange. Got some kind of combat limit limiter on it. I don't like it. <laughs> Your heart rate has to spike. You have to feel threatened. I'm always threatened. Yeah. Small creatures always threatened. <clears throat> so, Duldar, Kivix, and Mo, as you stack up on this door, and Vikesh, uh, moving around the acid rain puddle. Um, this room is labeled Lecture Hall 104, as opposed to the previous Lecture Hall, which was 103. Um, this is the room we're looking Duladar and Mo, make any perception checks as you stack up on the door. Yes, I was about to ask. Ha! I am perceiving tonight. <laughs> Consistently good with your perception, Mo. The big ear holes that I have are extremely sensitive tonight. I don't like that. I'm alien. I don't have ears. I only have holes. I only have holes, too. Well, I am alien. Well, <laughs> so, Mo, 
as you stack up on the door, um, you you try to listen through, and something very very faint catches your attention. Mm -hmm. It sounds like flame, kind of licking at things, Ooh. licking at at furniture or crackling wood almost but it's incredibly faint guys it sounds like there's a fire in there something's burning and it's not me good to know let's get this door open then but yes technically the door open. i is so alien in this game the door open See? And inside, big old as you gray boy door, um, with four that arms. The sound that Mo heard becomes more audible. Ah, ah, ah! And you can see that the room itself is uh, covered in fire. At least the desks are. Um, as this large quadrupedal being that seems to be made of fire uh, starts lashing its tail around no you can't close it now <laughs> starts lashing its tail as it turns around I don't want to see initiative assholes I don't I want to see this door shut back I refuse Sorry. Oh no. Typical of the cash list life. Oh no. Typical, typical. I've got 18 decks. <sighs> hey, that's pretty good. Hey, All right. I got more decks than Kiffix. Is there an image of this fire boy? Let me see if I can get it. <laughs> yeah, it's on your screen. Look at it. I want. I want to show a, or have a big image of it for the chat, so they can Here see. We go. Oh God! There it is. Fire He's lizard. Cute. He's cute. I want to pet it. Can I so stay now. back? I, I know how you feel about fire. <laughs> Never again. Well, this thing's living fire. So now that sound that you heard, Mo, uh, that sound of, of fire licking it at objects and just kind of uh, roaring flame uh, becomes louder as this thing turns and, and makes eye contact. <laughs> you don't have eyes! No Stop looking at me! Uh, I don't like this. Oops. Hey guys, do, do we have a bucket? <laughs> That's cute. So, Duladar, you are actually up first. I'm gonna point at it and scream, get him. How rude. Touch it. And then I'm gonna shoot it. Oh no, not your pre-boosted rifle. I do regret this decision immediately. Oh? That's a hit. Damn. Oh. What do we got? Eight and six. That's a 14, 14 damage. Hmm. Well, it would be if you weren't shooting it with fire. Hmm. At this distance, you can tell that your laser blast doesn't do anything except uh, piss this thing off. As its tail starts thrashing back and forth wildly. I'm dead. I'm in danger. Alright. Kithix. Do I, do I get the sense this has any sort of will score? Hmm. Let's see. It does. It does. This is a sentient being. 
Okay, if that's the case, I will use a second level mind thrust against it, and I need uh -huh. a will save. It'll try. It's 24. So it saves, so oh, it's going to take half of a... That was a very high roll on it, by the way. I'm just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Yeah. So, um... Two, six, one, ouch, three. So, well, it takes that half of 11. That's 12, okay. man. That is 12. It takes yeah. six damage. Six. Okay. Tell me. <laughs> hmm. So one mind thrust later. This thing is looking more and more agitated as the fire on its back starts to rise and flicker angrily. No, don't do it. Yeah. And it's going to start. You ever seen Spirited Away? Everyone here seen Spirited Away? No. No. Oh, losers and liars, Michael. No, I've got it, but I haven't watched it. Wow, that's surprising, actually. Well, Tell me about it. So this yeah, this creature is going to clamber its way over these seats. It's copying me. It just it just wants to be a massive version of Duladar. Father. <laughs> Son. Do I look like? You're not Grand my Daddy, dad. Is that you? <laughs> You're not my dad. Oogie, oogie, oogie. Pa did say you were a wild one. <laughs> a wildfire. And it's going to stop. Uh, well, it's moved all it. It really wants to. Vakesh. Do I have a clear shot at it? Or not? Uh, it's got a soft cover. It's got soft cover? Yes, sir. Man. I guess you want to walk into the blazing inferno. Yeah, this is going to be a fun time. Uh, good Trick luck, it. Boys. Trick it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's happening. Trick attack? What, uh, yeah. what skill are you going to use for trick attack? Uh, Whichever one has a modifier of 18, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Stella? <laughs> okay. So 37 is higher than its uh, 20 plus CR. So that is an effective trick attack. Now let's see if you can hit. Painkiller, don't fail me now. Fingies crossed. Ooh. Oh, okay. So 24. 25, that's right. Get him's active. So 25 is a hit. Big fucking sneak attack damage. I forget how many times. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and you still need your uh, your trick attack damage, too. Oh, fuck. Um, oh, that didn't roll out that trick attack damage, did it? Um, mm -hmm. So for you, right. your trick attack damage wait, wait, wait. is 3d8. Right. I was going to say, why is it just wrong? 3d8. Jesus. I'm just going to do it the hard way. Okay. So we got six, one, and three. All right. Eleven. So... No, ten. Ten, yeah. So that's ten plus sixteen, so twenty-six damage. Wow. Wow. Big hit on this fire elemental. Uh, you kind of shoot right through center mass before the fire sort of reforms in on it. Hope that didn't piss it off. And so it couldn't even, it couldn't get more angry. Bo. 
Okay. Our melee boy. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and step in. Hello. Hello, what the fuck are you doing? And then I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna yell at it with my uh. Oh, what are they called? Eh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The shout projector. Yeah. I'm going to tell it, sit down, big boy. Oh. 21, that's the hit. 22. So if I remember right, oh, 22, that's still a hit. So if I remember right, we ruled that the shout projector will project that explosion mm -hmm. onto an intersection, right? Yes. Okay. And not like a cone. And like if we were thinking. And if there's a voice grenade. If there's any space underneath its belly, I want it to uh would what would place it there. Or right in front of its face. Either way. Underneath its chin. How about that? Sure. So underneath uh sort of its face area. Um and what's the what's the damage? Pachubi! Ha ha! Oh, look at you. Eight damage. Big boom! You're, you're a big man. With four arms. Just imagine what I could do with four arms. <laughs> Daniel, you awake over there? I'm awake. Ah. I'm dying. I'm dying. That's why I'm, I'm Asian. You know. <laughs> You're not dying yet. Get in that room, then you're dying. You first, bitch. No, you. And that should be, or uh, if I have anything left, I want to pull out the storm hammer rather than it, rather than my mallet. Gotcha. And then so I, moving Ooh. in. I I think you could do that. Cool. Is it Is it talking? Well, it's speaking. That that roaring, that fire. It speaks fire. It speaks fire. Hey man, speak, hey man, speak common. You don't speak that language. Well, do it all. I'm I... frightened. I'm scared. I'm... I'm... You're a, a regret. You're a scared Ermander? A ha 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 I'll show, I'll show you a scared Ermander. Five. That's more like scared Ermander. <laughs> I'm gonna move thirty in that way. Oh wow. Okay. And as I'm moving I'm gonna draw my uh, sonic suppressor. You gotta get in the fucking room first, damn it. I am in the room. You weren't. You got caught on the I wall because you didn't you didn't mark your infantry correctly. I'm in there. It worked. I'm gonna shoot it with a sonic suppressor. Let's see how well that does you. Oh, I saw it on that seventeen too. So pissed it sat there and it trolled me. It did some light trolling. It sure did. And that misses. Uh, I, that blast of sonic energy goes right over it. I don't think the fire elemental they have anything to do with the... Or whatever is. The... That is curious, isn't it? Hmm. What, what makes a fire elemental just show up? Could it be native to the planet, though? Or... Maybe. Maybe this uh, school was making fire elementals. Maybe the... It's their school incinerator. Maybe... Maybe the fire elemental... You know, it has willpower, it has sentience. Uh, maybe we don't know what we're looking at. That's what I'm thinking. I think I see you're trying to move, but I can't... It doesn't show up properly. You're trying to move oh. into the space next to Mo, right? Yeah. Okay. That's weird that it wasn't showing up. Like, it would flicker for me. I couldn't get it to stay on screen. 
strange. Um, Which I'm never gonna, happened. I'm going to fire at it with my pistol. Okay. Your... That was just damage. The laser pistol? I, yeah, I apologize. I didn't roll to attack. Don't use your laser pistol. It doesn't work. Uh, I, I didn't even see the damage roll. I don't think it caught. Oh, okay. Um. Uh. I guess I will cast. Cast create water. You know what? I'm gonna cast a seeking shot on Moe's next attack. And seeing That's shot will. Um, No, never mind. I, that's not the spell I thought it was. I'm sorry. I'm going to cast the first level Mind Thrust against it. Another will save. Yes, another will save. Ooh, this one's a 12. Oh, so it fails. Oh, <laughs> okay. So it's going to take 2d10 damage. Ouchie. For a total of 17. Wow. Has it resisted it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, some everything. things some things have resistances. Mm. That's still it's still Sorry. dealing a ton of damage. You're lying to us. It has a headache. Is there some if sort of can't... check I can do to check what resistances it has? Yes, you can always make uh mysticism checks. Remember, mysticism and life science are your best friends when you're dealing with shit you don't know anything about. As long as if we can't kill it, just jump inside of it. 23. 23. Okay, so... This thing... <laughs> Alright, that's enough to give you one piece of information. And you want to know about its resistances, right? Yes. Okay. So, being a fire elemental, this thing is obviously immune to fire. Um... But it also has an innate damage reduction of five. Ah. Uh. Yeah. With no known way to cut through that. It's just that tough. You can only spit on it. Spit on it? Spit on it before you hit it. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. That'll work. That's what my dad taught me. Or maybe that was for something else. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Snap tap to hurt my ass. So that's all for your turn, correct, Kithix? Yes. Perfect. So now it's time for the elemental. It's angry. And it's going to go for the small blue thing. It's gonna. S <laughs> I'll just spin and try to slam its tail down onto you. And I can tell you, this is a guaranteed hit. Pretty much, it's a thirty-five to hit. Enjoy death. As you take. Why didn't it roll? Oh, it's because I didn't target you. Embrace death again, but this time for real. Roll, damn you. Do the thing. You're not taking damage, are you, huh? No. Hmm. Uh oh, it rolled. There we go. Oh. 20 damage. Jesus. As that tail tries to grind you into the tile. Uh, fire damage, of course, by the way. Um, in case you had any kind of resistances. Ha <laughs> no. Dang. I, sh I, sh I should do fire, though. Pretty common. That would cover, 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 cover lasers. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Bakesh. I don't feel right. I don't trust the situation. I'm having, like, instant regrets upon firing that shot. Um, this doesn't make any sense to me. Um, 
Kill it, and then we can talk about it. <laughs> normally, I normally I'd kill first and ask questions later, but I just want to roll a life science check. Yeah, that's not as good as I would have hoped. It wouldn't be I'm, life I'm, science for this thing. It'd be oh. mysticism. Oh, mysticism? Shit. Mm -hmm. well, that's not Depends on what all. kind of information you're trying to get. I just kind of want to look at it and see, like, what I'm looking at. I, I know it's a fire elemental, but like, why is it, why is it here? Right. If I'm, you know, like, um, it just doesn't make sense to me. That <laughs> is it is it native to the planet kind of thing? Like, is it a native creature that crawled up from the shithole of the <laughs> the underworld to to make up residence in this? college or is it um so even that... without a mysticism check uh Vikesh mm -hmm. would know that elementals aren't of this plane so this this thing is definitely not native to ilam shuva and just the fact that it's been speaking at us i want to somehow make communicate with it but i can't um but i'm gonna roll a mysticism to try to see if I can figure out what, uh, am I getting any sort of, um, I don't even know. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, like, if I could understand, uh, any sentence structure to what it was saying. Like, was it actually speaking or was that just noise? So, because you're, do you have ranks in mysticism? No. Okay. So that's going to make it an untrained skill for you, which means you yeah. can't roll higher than a 10. Okay. Realistically. So even though you got a 19. 21. Yeah. yeah. It maxes so, out at 10, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So unfortunately, you're not able to piece together if this thing's actually like trying to speak to you or if it's just verbaling noise. Well, given the fact that they're not native to here, and um, it's not part of the swarm, mm -hmm. I don't feel comfortable attacking it. I think it would be better off having it on our side, but I, we've made a very bad opening on it. Um, so I kind of want to, like, holst not holster, but sling my weapon and <laughs> wave my arms and say sorry or something <laughs> my bad and i'm not hearing it gotcha okay and that's that's gonna be that's your my, turn right that's gonna be my turn i don't want to attack it i i feel i'm having i'm acting on my my panic after taking the shot it was a great roll Believe me, that was that was awesome. Ooh, that was, I I was excited for that damage, but I instantly had a regret afterwards. Where I'm like, I don't I don't feel right, and I'm gonna like try to communicate that to it somehow, just through the action of holstering my weapon and like raising my arms and waving at it. I see. Okay. We'll see how that plays see, out. If it, yeah, let's see if or if it charges me seeing me unarmed now. Samo is a. Uh... So you're stepping into this room, ready to fight this elemental. You can hear Vikesh behind you, uh, offering some peace. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, I use my shout thing again, and it's like, stop attacking us! <laughs> okay. Damn it! Ooh, that's a miss. Hmm. So no damage, but the room is filled with Moe's shouting, stop attacking us. Uncomfortably loud. Next time I'm just going to moan at it. Ah! Well, seeing as that was the, uh... Maybe the fact that, that didn't do damage, but it's full of the sound is a good thing, though. I'm going to get here. And try, attempt to kind of pull the attention away from uh, Duladar. You 
do so. I worry about that. I'm about to bolt the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, you do just that, Mo, as you grab its attention. Uh, and it uses its reaction to smash the shit out of you. <laughs> as you move closer. Let me just make sure it's not targeting Duladar again. I don't want to kill him just yet. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Might be. I'm ready! No! I think you're ready. Is that 35 hits in that? It doesn't hit. Oh, bull. Uh, instead of a tail coming at you, you're getting a fiery clawed sort of paw? Reptile-ish kind of set of claws uh, coming at you. Firefoot. It used blazing kick. Super effective. I jump kick. <laughs> For 20 damage. Ow! Fired, uh, by the way. Uh, don't I have resistance? No, I don't think so. As it just swipes right across. Uh, its its hand is about as tall as your torso. Ow. And it just smacks the shit out of you. If you had hair, it'd be singed. Ow. Duladar. Hey guys, how how good are we at playing hide and seek with a fire elemental? That might be our better option here. Yeah, I'm not getting any uh uh. Is, uh is this the... Getting the fuck out of that room. That was a bad idea going in. I'm getting the hell out. And since it's, I guess I'm in its threat range. I guess I gotta do an acrobatics check while doing that. We used an AOO, so you are fine. It did. Yeah, you uh, you rush underneath uh, Mo as the elemental turns its attention to him. Uh, what? And use that moment to dash out of the room. I'm gonna sprint out of the room then. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna notice that Vakesh doesn't have his gun out. You uh, you shell shocked or something? I don't feel right about this. Um, I, I, yeah, I just don't think that this thing should be here, you know? Like, I really think that an elemental being here in, in, with the with the swarm, why is it here in the university? Like, what, what the hell is going on? The real question, I guess, if it can fit through that doorway, which I'm about to find out as I do extra movements to keep moving. <laughs> go find somewhere to go find somewhere small. Or moving back down that hallway, huh? Uh huh. Okay. Gotcha. All right, Kithix. Okay. I'm going to target it with another second level knife thrust since my pistol is not going to work on it. So I need yet another will save from it. Can do. That is a 13. 13, so it fails. Shit. So it is going to take... Holy fuck. 27 damage. I guess 22 damage. Okay. Big shit. Uh, and no longer feeling safe in the room. I'm going to retreat just outside the door. She. So, I guess maybe we should barricade this door. <laughs> Don't let me in here! <laughs> well, you can you can barely get that sentence out before it tries to smash you into the ground again. No, nope. fuck. Five. That's its lowest roll yet. <gasps> For eighteen damage. Ow! Taking a fucking beating. No, yeah, that fucking room. All right, Vikesh. Uh, I'm 
And I guess I guess I better draw attention away from Mo. How do you plan on doing that? Pew pew, please! Pew pew, please! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm still having my regrets, but I've got an idea. These are always fun. What do you think about? Uh, I think I need. Oh my god, I forgot my token. My map is. I'm sorry, I'm zooming my map all wrong. Hmm. Here we are. All good. I want to run down here. Yeah, I'm not going to do any actions this turn other than to run and scream. Run and scream. Okay. Well, not really scream, but yell at, at the elemental. Hey! Gotcha. Leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm making my way down here. Making my way downtown. Running fast. Get the fuck out! And, uh... Can I, can I tail slap this door behind me and see if it's open? Opening it would be a move action. And opening it would be a move action? Okay, never mind then. Hmm. But you do move uh, down the room uh, towards the southern end. And you can see that it is starting to kind of track your movement. Mo. What would it be, or what could I do in order to get out of here? Or uh, is there like an acrobatics check to to avoid getting smacked again? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is untrained, so my highest it can it could be is ten, right? Uh, acrobatics. I don't believe is it a trained skill? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. Yeah, I don't believe it's a train skill. Um... Okay. I believe so. I know life science is trained. Yeah, yeah, you can make an acrobatics check for sure. No points in acrobatics though. Mm -mm. Gotcha. Knees and use arms and stuff. Use my so full movement. Through, moving through a threatened area is, uh, the DC is, for future reference, 15 plus one and a half times the opponent's CR. Fuck! So. Thanks. You are unable. What's the CR on this thing? 20? <laughs> well, I think no. it's a lot more than that when I laugh. No, it's, um, <laughs> it's not trained. <laughs> Uh, this is a, a CR7. Oh. All so, right. 15 yeah, plus one and a half good. would be, what, fucking a raw, like a nat 20 in order to fucking beat, no, 22? Uh, it'd be 25, I think. Fuck! Yeah. Hit me, big boy. Um... Well, not. Attention's been drawn away from you. Okay. By red screaming Vesk. So that's still my move, or just my movement. Does the acrobatics check count as the uh, action to try to avoid? Well, since I didn't have to, I didn't have to use it, right? Yeah, we'll say so. Okay. I'm gonna shout it out again. At it again. You just say, you big meanie. <laughs> just like, please don't kill us! <laughs> oh! Yeah, <laughs> love to see it happen. Oh! <laughs> being good, though. Oh. As you're running away, you kind of shout uh, into the wall, and there's a blast of soot <laughs> that uh, comes off the wall and kind of covers you. <clears throat> All right, blue man. 
Garrity Nander. What are you up to? I'm gonna bargain. Move here. Move me back. If only you would, you would do the movement right. Damn it. Good. And while I'm moving, I'm gonna I'm gonna plink one of those uh, grenades off my off off my bandolier and, and launch it at it. Oh Once shit! I get stationary. All right. Make me uh that that DC five. <laughs> All right. It says miss, but you've hit the intersection, not the uh the elemental. Mm -hmm. So now that is what it's a reflex save, right? Yep. And it rolls a twenty. Actually. But it should still be taking half damage. Yep. This is Mark One grenade or Mark Two? Mark One. Okay. Two damage. That then gets reduced to no damage. Well, it always takes at least one damage. Mm-hmm. Hey, you hit the nice number. Nice. Nice. Wait, no, that's not nice. <laughs> not Daniel, in this situation. Are you okay? Daniel, are you okay? He actually fell asleep. Holy shit. Daniel, are you okay? Yes. Okay, were you asleep? Uh, no, you not, not, your eyes? not asleep. I just kind of zoned out. Okay. <laughs> I like your uh, laser light show you have going on oh, back there, dude. Yeah, I like rotate slowly. That That is super cool. I dig it. Yeah, it's just a little projector. It nice. puts him to sleep just like a baby. <laughs> I need something like that. Wow. All right, la la last time's a char the charm. Roll me another will save. Okay. What level mind thrust is this? Two. Twelve again. Fuck. That's another failure. Four D ten. Wham. This is bullshit. It's Fifteen damage. Very nice. Well, not anymore because you put him off the nice number, but. Oh. This thing is in critical condition now. The fire uh, that was raging on its body just a few seconds ago has started to kind of dim down. And you can see it's not putting out as much light anymore. Um, so, Vikash, as you rush into the room, uh, grabbing this thing's attention, it's going to whip around and begin kind of clambering over the seats. Uh, before reaching out and these fiery teeth just kind of materialize and we'll see if they can clamp around you or not. Oh! Fuck. Hey, that's a nat 20. Holy shit. Uh... So, how's your how's your health looking, buddy? I, I was full health before this. Before? Okay. Yeah. Let's see how that how that happens. Ten plus. All right. So in total, oh shit! So that's thirty four damage. Jesus. As it clamps on. And an additional four fire damage. As it burns you. Oh, uh, shit. You have become immolated. Um, so. 34, right? That's what I said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then an additional four damage of burn. So thirty-eight total. 
Yikes. You guys get out of there! That does put you on fire. Uh, you catch. So that means you'll be taking that fire damage until you can extinguish yourself. Um, Stop, drop, and roll! So at the... Um, at the beginning of your turn each round before you do anything make a reflex save and we'll move from there it's like reflex which save. it is now your turn oh my God. so you're aiming for a uh, 14 is the dc of this save hi john recreate that scene out of Fury where the dude is on fire and he just shoots himself in the face. Oof. Holy really shit. Oh, 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 you're you're playing a dangerous game, Bakesh. <laughs> so after those fiery jaws retreat, you pat yourself out frantically uh, <laughs> with your tail and, and free hands. Um, and quite clearly this thing isn't in the most diplomatic of moods. Uh, what is your, what is your plan of action? There's a door behind you, uh, but this thing also looks incredibly frail, like a, like a cornered animal. Because I'm still having the regrets, and I'm still really feeling like I, I run. I, I mean, it's it's just fucking. It it feels like a cornered animal, and uh, whatever you, regrets you got, it does not share. Yeah, it doesn't really share, <laughs> but um, kind of. Is checking the door behind me a move action? Yeah. And making sure it's unlocked? Unlocked, yeah. Uh, you can kind of swish at the, the handle with your tail. Uh, yeah. It does, it does move. It does move? Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, everyone else is really squishy except for me, and this thing has fucking done a lot of t shit ton of damage well, to me. I, I guess I'm going to do something that I should have done a long time ago, which is I'm going to go off this door. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes, I'm Kristen, you are also very soft. And say, this Cuddly a soft. Big misunderstanding. Oh. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oof. And then I'm going to run out of here. Oh, uh... Shoot. So... Opening it is a move uh, action in our Opening it's a move action, and that's as much. Okay, so this is as far as I can go. Yeah. Oops. Cancel this. Cancel mm. it. Where are my thoughts? Did I? Have we ever talked uh, about using a move action to open a door and then moving afterwards again? No. I feel like we have, but it might have been earlier. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a while ago. Maybe a while ago. It's been four or five weeks at this point. So. Right. Since we last played, um, I don't. I don't really know. I guess that makes sense, though. We should keep a note of the rules we talk about so we don't forget them yeah. like this. We should. Michael, I nominate you. Fuck. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, I, I don't... At the moment, I don't see why uh, I wouldn't allow you to just use a double move to open the door and then get the fuck out. Um, just not the full distance of a full run. Yeah. Right. So you your base movement. There. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is still plenty of sense here, you know. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say that makes sense to have like the move action of opening a door to get out, and then the if that's your full there they are turn would be like oh yeah you've still got some move left like a double right. run right. Oof emojis. For now, I'll I'll say that's I'm sorry slide. to be dumb. I'm sorry to be dumb at rule. <laughs> I don't want to die. Okay. Yeah. For now, we'll we'll go with that. Um, okay. All right. 
some mo. <laughs> you, you see downwind. Uh, <laughs> the cash get absolutely uh, immersed in fire. And then you can hear the slamming open of a door. Heavy boots <laughs> running up the hallway. Uh, uh, is that the moaning? Yes. Uh, I told you to sit! Huh! Oh, look at that. That's a hit. I want to aim at his butt! Oh, that's... Mm, you got me. Let's see what you can do. Oh, okay. Seven damage. Um... Right, you're not proficient with heavy weapons, are you? Me? Right. Yeah, I am. Uh huh. Well, then you should be adding your your level to this damage. Well, shit. That is how weapon spec works, right? Paka mm Yutai. -hmm. So that is seven plus six. That's a uh, thirteen damage minus five. Okay. Mm. Very nice. Uh, my level is what six. So after um that explosive bite, uh, this thing looks a lot less full fleshed. In a way, it it's now resembling much more of just a. Does that sound better, John? Skeletal looking fire, if you can imagine that. Ugh. Um, That's nasty. Turned around several times, and it uh, weakly kind of folds in on itself to turn back towards Kithix and Mo uh, in the open doorway. And if I can't, oh, wait, never mind. I already, I didn't say anything before. Okay, sorry. Were you going to try a move? I was going to try to shut the fucking door. Would you like to? I didn't say it to I didn't say it early enough, so nope. Okay. Fair enough. Dulidar? Well, I guess since uh it's almost dead. Uh, guys, remember me how I lived? I'm gonna run in with my uh not. I'm gonna run in with my uh sonic uh sound pistol. You absolute fucking retard. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> You're gonna see the death of the character. Oh gosh. Close the door. What's what's your what's your battle scream? <laughs> Yeah, give me the first half of your battle screen because the second half is going to turn into death gurgles. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You rush oh, in no. and just blind fire with your your sonic pistol. Oh, ow, this hurts! Uh, missing completely. Oh fuck! Oh. Um, <laughs> no, I do not look fine. Kithics. You lie. Um. At this phase, I don't really want to spend any more spells, and uh, my only gun does fire damage, so... Throw it at him! I don't think there's anything... Actually, I'm pretty sure there's a cantrip I can do. Um, telekinetic projectile. I will oh. cast... Um, yes, so... Make a rage attack. Okay. So I will make a ranged attack against him. EAC or kinetic? Kinetic. Okay. And are you proficient? Well, not proficient, but like, do you add your weapon specialization bonuses and all that? Um, I don't spell. know. It's kind of weird. I would assume not. It's still a plus one, though, because we have uh, Gidom on him. So does uh, it over. 20... Oh, okay. So 19k, he's a miss. Let me 
yes. Mm. What about the plus kinetic one? Is yes. And it is okay. kinetic, right? Yes. Okay. Shame. Oh shit. That would have been really cool. Thank you, Solon. Soylen. Ten zero. How's it going? The elemental kind of folds in on itself, and it's going to start weakly moving forwards to Duladar. No. Uh, Don't get him. Don't get him. It lashes out with a 36. Oh, fuck. That's a hit. Of course. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Duladar. Well, that's not that bad, actually. 17 damage. Hell yeah! What Starfinder awesome. game are you playing? My sails. It sure did. You this one is uh, Attack of the Swarm. Jabs at you. <laughs> Stopping you in your tracks. I know. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'd better... I don't know what I'm doing. This is in the weirdest fucking combat. Yeah. Because I should I should just go kill the thing. Save the homies. But I really I really am just still having like this regret in the fact that the thing was here to begin with. Um I guess I'm gonna do some Vakash one liner scan. All right, uh, I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna go back down here to where the door is. Okay. Uh, and poke my head in the door. Like waving, and say, "Hey, I'm down here." <laughs> And then I'm gonna take one more uh back up uh that's my full movement, I guess, would be back out. I'm trying to draw the attention again down this way. We'll see how that works. Yeah. You're not done with me. <laughs> Mo. Hate to eat and run, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mo. Do something. Ah! Because it's been working, I'm just gonna keep yelling at it. And I'm gonna say... Dolanar, get the fuck out! No! No, no you. <laughs> oh! You poor, poor man. Damn it! You still got a move action. Uh, I will back up a little bit. That way, when Duladar tries to run, he'll have some room. I was hoping you would say sorry, Duladar, and shut the door. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, Duladar. Alright, take another shot with my sonic gun. It's fucking do or die. Uh, it's so terrible. Why did you have to phrase that other sentence just like that? It's do or die. It doesn't look like it's do right now, so. <laughs> oh, ho. you're moving oh, out of no. my threatened range. Yeah, that's <laughs> not who I wanted. Mike? Yep, run. Oh, ho. White. I gotta, I gotta figure out how to get that shout out command to work. I get a plus four to my AC when running out of threat and range. Ah. Opportunities, for mobility. Here's hoping it works. This is a twenty-eight. Is that plus four? Okay. Damn it! It doesn't matter. It okay. So you're doing homebrew stuff, 16. also yeah. dealing with the swarm. 
That's pretty freaking cool. Uh, For some of us, like myself included, this is the first time playing Starfinder. I've got enough of this fight. Ah, oh, that's how you do it. Thank you, John. Me? I appreciate it's, that. No one's done anything to it. He, he just hit it for 16. I keep, I keep missing. No, Duladar got hit, hit me for 16. 16. Oh my god. Kyle keeps not winning. <laughs> I just realized that my Damn fucking it. spell, uh, Kinetic mm. Projectile, it only does 1d6 damage max. So, mm. most I'll be able to do is 1 damage. Okay. Well, Shit damage, I guess. <laughs> better cast it again. Please do something. I grow weary. That's a hit. Alright. Just six damage. That's all I need. No. <laughs> well, damage. actually, you'll always at least do one damage. Okay. Due to how damage reduction works. <sighs> okay. So, Kithix, what does the deed? Wait, what? Was it at one health? Are you what fucking kidding deed? me? What does the deed, Kithix? <laughs> what are you? What are you using hey, man, your mind? You you're killing the most. Uh, an abandoned backpack. <laughs> <laughs> using your mind, you pick up one of the several backpacks that hasn't been burned to a crisp in the room and you throw it, you throw it as hard as you fucking can and it <laughs> smashes into this fire elemental and just uh, it explodes like a like a Skyrim fire atron arc. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Oh lord have mercy. Who the fuck put this through? I hate this fucking campaign. I want death. <laughs> Who puts a fucking fire elemental in, in, a, in a random school? Fuck this. <laughs> Defense Wait. against the elemental arts. So, real quick, the cash. Make me a perception check since you're you're in uh, an area. I don't want to be too specific. Go throw the fucking backpack at it. In an area. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to say anything else. Uh, 14. Okay. Oops. My bad. So, uh, since you're a little closer to one of the more burned areas of the room, um, <clears throat> I can actually describe this room to you guys now. Uh, Night Soylent. Hall is quite similar. To I appreciate the raid, man. Um, I, I was greatly appreciated. Uh, 104 has been sort of... Uh, most of the furniture has sort of been reduced to fine ash. Um, even still, the air is very dry. And there's even some damage to the concrete walls at the end of the room. Oh my god. Fire damage to the concrete walls. Um, the cash is sort of... Is that a Vesk the, emote? Uh, lecture desk at the southern end. You can see a, a decently sized pile. That literally looks like the cash. bad much Seems sorrow bad, man. Um, and what are the rest of you if it's dead then yeah i'd like oh, i want to take 10 minutes <laughs> uh yeah i need a lot more than 10 minutes but yeah if it's dead then i definitely want to oh that move up so why can't kind of the fuck uh, is going on dusting your way through this pile of ash uh make me another perception check the cash okay. 
What happened? For some reason, I can't move this token anymore. There it goes. Rolling kind of low, but yeah. Digging through um the now much larger pile of ash you can see behind this uh this desk, it's um you're able to dust away, and at the very bottom of the pile is a faintly glowing ember. Huh. Interesting. What? <laughs> kind of shouting into the room. Did you find anything? Shut up. This isn't what I think it is. Uh... My everything hurts. Oh. Does this have to be a mysticism? Is this an ad? Uh, is... Yeah, roll mysticism. Oh, Eight. Nice. Oh, on life science. Yeah. Mo's spending a resolve point. Yes. I didn't know you guys were taking a 10-minute rest. I, I figured Duladar was, so I might as well. Okay, just bumming it out in the hallway. Um, you can, can pick up that. the Ember of Akash and kind of uh, yeah. look at it, but you can't quite make heads or tails out of it. Uh, but you figure some of your party might be able to. I'm gonna take it to them. Like... Oh yeah, and John. To answer your question from a while back, uh, I am playing a Solaran, which is basically like a universal paladin. Uh, also, uh, since Mo and Kithix, or sorry, uh, Duladar and Mo have taken their ten minute rests, if if you would also like to, Vikesh, uh, yeah. at this point you may. Uh, Vikesh is a. Soldier, so if I remember right. The party at the northern end of the Kithix is a mystic, um, and then if I remember correctly, Duladar is an operative. Ah, ah, I would like to look at it as best as I can. <laughs> I want nothing to do with that heat for the rest of the day. Can I look at it, please? Yeah. As he oh. makes his way here. Quit it. Pass him on. I have a bad feeling. What do you what do you think of us? Take a look at him. Oh, I'm gonna kind of pull it into my hand and uh, juggle it around a little bit and stare at it. And no, roll on the table. Where where'd you go? That's not what I meant to do. What the fuck? Stop it! Uh, it feels quite natural in your hands, Mo. Uh, Wait, is this another like moat? You do recognize it as a kind of switch in for a, a photon crystal. Huh. This this ember, uh, you figure you can make use of it as a an impromptu uh, photon crystal. Yes. Huh. Well, thank you, Vikesh. This may come in handy for me. What does that mean? I'll point up to the uh, the little thing that's floating around my head. It's like, well, it can help with this. Oh, huh. Are you saying, are like you saying we just saw cool, a solarian? No. I really don't know what that was, but I kind of get the idea what this is. Why would that be? Was there maybe a Solarian professor? Was that pile of ash, the body, and the thing that that 
was the leftover from the body. Oh, that's way different than what I thought was going on. Okay. Gross. Those ashes. <laughs> well, what was the what was the fire elemental doing here to begin with? I don't like this situation. Well, it says it's something he can use. Moses Solarian. Whenever he gets in trouble, he starts turning fiery or gravity. -y. I'd say your world falling is pretty uh, in danger. Maybe that was a rogue Solarian. Lost control or something. Too, That's too how that works. Photon attunement. Ha -ha. Hmm? Uh -huh. Said too much photon attunement. Ha -ha. Uh oh. <laughs> Is that epic? Is that foreshadowing? It. No. Uh oh. You didn't spend Wait. it, so you became that. Is that what can happen to you? You could become like one of those. I. Not, not really. I do know yeah. that I'm. I can't really. Does not be balanced. But I don't know if balance. that happens. Near people. Balance again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am literally about balance, sir. <laughs> what? Well, oh, very unbalanced. That hurt. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry that I... One of us is blocked off. Like acid. Sorry, I went off a... Of, of bad feeling and uh, had a little shell shock as it was said but I just didn't understand why that was there. I think we should have maybe pulled a full retreat and barricaded the door but we got something useful for Mo at least. We, Probably. No one's dead. No one died. We all took a little rest. And uh, wow what I just don't understand what that was doing. Boy, what was it saying? Who cares anymore? No use mm. in wandering about it. Yes. It should learn common if it wants to talk. How progressive. <laughs> So, Vikesh, as you were leaving out of the side door down the hallway, um, I didn't have time to describe that hallway to you. You were a little focused yeah. on getting the fuck out of there. I was a little focused on getting away, yeah. Yes. Uh, but uh, taking a second to, to breathe those ten minutes, um, you know for a fact that you passed by a set of stairs and an elevator. Yeah, at the end of the hallway. Yeah, they were sort of where I came out the door, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'd see. However, it doesn't really indicate where it leads to. Um, so you might have to do some looking around. Possibly. Uh, you do remember that the only things that were really marked on this floor were the lecture halls, restrooms, and uh, professor offices. Or staff offices. We should probably try to just check the uh, the staff office for the professor. That would have been yeah. better than busting in the lecture halls, and unless we knew a lecture hall that uh, professor would have been speaking in, or having classes, you know. We but. did have a number, but I do not recall. Yeah. I can't remember if it was 103, 104, or 105, or something like that. But notes. There's only three lecture halls, yeah? There are uh, two lecture halls on this floor. <laughs> um, okay and several offices uh, 
being what numbered we've... from. We've, we've seen two lecture halls. I can't remember. Well, let's check some. Let's check some offices. Let's find the office of the, of the professor. Uh, How are we feeling, okay. everybody? Are I'm feeling. I'm feeling at this point. I'm. I'm good. I'm feeling at this point. Uh, no more regrets in combat. I, I'm sorry. If it pops out, I'm fucking shooting in the face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> there, there were big regrets there, but like, I, it didn't make sense for that thing to be here. Oh, I agree. It didn't uh, I don't understand why it's there either, but uh, it's dead and, and that hurt. We're alive. Let's go find the soul. Let's go. Uh. So what about uh physically how's everyone doing is he Fine. a little little tired uh, yeah turn him off tired. a little bit okay should we call the session here i'm ready I'm... if we have if we have to that's a decent stopping spot agreed stopping spot I, I am struggling a little bit. I, I hate to be that guy. I was a little, I was a little worried about it. You know, no, no, dude, it's all good. I've done it myself, so it's it's fair. It damn. happens. Had a big day. So I think that is a great stopping spot. Um, not as long as we normally go through, but I think we did make some decent I feel progress. Like we made great progress. Yeah. Yes. Back in this battle. Yeah. Yeah. Tough session to. Just stumble back into, but I'm I'm very much looking forward to next week where we continue moving through the halls of academia. Yes, please. And I would like to say for the for the or for you guys, um, that uh we uh did get raided. So we had a party of seven come in. Um and uh Mr. Uh Soylen was what is the person that raided me. Um and he's also a streamer on Twitch that does uh D and D and he's actually doing a homebrew Starfinder game. Oh nice. So mm -hmm. that's very cool. Very nice. Oh. Oh. Rakesh would oh. like to bestow a, a new title upon uh Mo as Mo the Meat Shield. <laughs> <laughs> as uh Mo stands in front of Rakesh often. Oh I appreciate that Mr. Vikesh but I I don't need a new yeah. title. That's something of oh, you you do earn the titles, and you should wear it with respect, and people should know you as Mo the Meat Shield, because you stand well in front of me and uh, in front of uh, all of our friends here. You you do well to take the brunt of the damage. So I need to add another line to my name. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Mimosas Talo uh, Altros Mo Mo Wesca of the Clan Keb House House of Medor Singularum of the Line of Zen Meat Shield for Vikesh. The Meat Shield. <laughs> but I think that is a great spot to end with Midnight Squad loitering in the hallways without a hall pass. We'll see what punishment comes their way next week. Um, thank you guys for coming out Friday night playing with me. Uh, it's good to get back to it. But, um, and good night, everybody. Good night, guys. John says hi. Hi, hi John. Hello.